can't do it now. Yo, what up, yo hooligans? Uh, Bird here, and I got some rules. So if you're not part of my crew in Godfather Five Family, you can just not listen to this video because you won't understand it. But um, if you are not part of my crew on Godfather, I'll leave a link of the game, or probably won't, because the game's called The Godfather Five Families. That's all you gotta know. Um, and before I start, yes, this is Xbox. Yes, this is Grand Theft Auto. Why am I doing it? Because I can't record my face, because I don't have a program to do that, which costs like $45 a month to do it. Not doing that, alright? So sorry you can't see my face. Uh, yeah, I know some people actually wanted to. You know, blue. No, I'm just joking. Um, some people did, but sorry, I can't do that. Um, if I decide to buy the program, I'll make a video and you guys know what I look like. Because I am pretty schmecky. I am schmecky as schmecky can get. But, alright, let's be serious right now. Um, uh, so, the first rule is to respect all crew and treat them like your family. You gotta do it. If you don't do it, I don't want you in my crew. If you don't, if you can't respect your crew, the people that got your back day in, day out, that literally will treat you like family, don't join this crew. Don't be a part of this crew if you can't do that. Because I will kick you. If you can't respect your crew members and your crew yourself, and crew this, oh my god, and your crew, don't be part of this crew. Please, don't. Um, I don't have time for it. And, you know, disrespecting your crews is not cool at all. Nah, not even a little bit. It's like disrespecting your family. It's not cool. So there's no I in team. Um, if you're a lone wolf player, then again, don't join the crew. Or if you are a lone wolf and you're part of the crew, uh, you should leave. You will get kicked if you're not active. And uh, that's just the way it is. Plain and simple way it is. Um, the most important rule besides respect your family. Now this is a rule that was broken by myself and another player. Um, I won't say their name because it's it is my business, but uh, forgive and forget. I will admit I was under the influence last night. So I made a mistake. I admitted to it. I apologize for it. And yeah. So that is forgiven and forgotten. Um, if America gangsters or American gangsters, whatever they call themselves, are listening to it, I am definitely sorry for wiping out your player, uh, Killer900 or whatever. I don't know what your name is. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for wiping you out. I did not mean to. Uh, but then again, it, it was kind of your fault leaving your crew or your troops out in the beginning game server where people get hit every day of their life. But, um, yeah, attacking a Barzini without my permission or the underbosses will result in an instant removal. No, no exceptions. You're out. Get out. <laughs> no, you're out. Um, now, how it works is since I am boss, you you would only need my permission. Now, a lot of people might think, oh, that's a being a douche. It's not really. I'm the boss, and literally, it's what I decide on what I want to do is what's going to happen. Alright, so, I'm not trying to be a douche about it. I'm just trying to tell you guys what's up. Now, obviously, if you guys don't know, or if you're not an underboss, I get everything that I do, I ask for my underbosses and your guys' else's opinions. Now, some things a boss will do is just because I know I got to do it. And I gotta do it right away. That's the only time I'll ever do it. So, that is something you guys really gotta know. Everything I do is for the crew and to benefit the crew. Nothing is to make the crew worse or out of my, uh, you know, interest. Obviously, the crew is my first interest. Always. I'm, I'm playing this just to be the crew leader. You know, I, I feel like I'm a good leader and I think I can definitely take this crew somewhere. Even though we're number one and we're staying number one, no one's even close to passing us. And I'm going to keep it that way. So, um, yeah, sorry about the little rant. But, yeah, 
if you attack a Brazini without my permission or the underbosses. Now, you have to have all of the underbosses' permission if you want to attack a Brazini. And you have to have a valid reason. You can't be like, oh, dude, he got like 100 million each resources I needed for my snippers. Um, yeah, I, instead of calling them snipers, I like to call them snippers, make it funny. But, yeah. You can't do that. You have to have a reason. If he calls you out, you have my permission. You don't need... Like, now, here's the thing. Please don't abuse it and be like, yo, he called me out. Yeah, bro. Hit him. I'm gonna lie to Birdman and the underbosses and all my crew and say he just called me out. But really, I just want his resources. Don't do that, bro, because I can find out. Like, I am... I know all the bosses. I've talked to all of them. All... Every single one, I've talked to them. So, you know... We're all gonna be honest with each other, so don't do it. Please, don't lie to me. I really hate that shenanigans. So don't lie. Um, the one of, another rule is don't air out our laundry. Please, don't let people know. If there's a big problem going on, why the fuck would you tell somebody, yo, Birdman and uh, Frank got a huge argument? Like, A, they don't really care. That just shows that our crew is weak. That's all it does. So don't do it. Don't let people know we got a problem. Um, I don't want to look weak. Neither does anybody else in this crew. Uh, sorry I'm losing my voice right now. It was a long night last night. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't let people know our problems. Okay, that's our problems. There's a reason why it's called our problems. It's, you know, personal. Um, if there's something personal going on in the crew, please don't let somebody know, like, something serious happens to somebody. The people in all chat don't care. All they're going to do is use it as ammunition against us. That's all they're going to do, guys. So please don't let uh, other people know our personal business. It's the reason why it's personal. No one else should not. Just you guys. Um, that is definitely a big one. Uh... You know, I don't think any of you guys would do it, and I'm trying to stop saying uh, but it's so common to do. So, that was it. That was not it. I have one more, but this one is kind of, it's a little hard, but um, it's not like a serious one. But you need, wow, that was a fucking tail. You guys need respect and power frequently. You guys need to do it so our crew can still be top crew. Because everybody's contribution counts. Um, I remember starting this crew, and everybody had like 4,000, 2,000. Now people got almost half a million and more. So we're working there. You guys are doing great. Now power, obviously, new server. Not everybody's not everybody's gonna have um, power. Now I think the most is 200,000. And if we all went back to our old servers. We could wipe that out with a whole bunch of thugs. So I understand. We all understand that power is not the easiest thing to come by. And usually the way to get power is to spend some diamonds, win tournaments. I don't know. Whatever you guys do. I spend diamonds to get my troops. I rarely will train them unless Plutorian up. Okay? So I don't really... I understand. If you guys need money, do it. Um, so, yeah. You guys have to get a respect, like... Is it too much to ask for like 250,000 a week, maybe 500,000 or more? I don't know if it's too much to ask for or not, but um, we might think of a balanced number. Uh, 100,000 is good because if we just get 10,000 people, we go 10 people to do it. That's that's a 1 million right there. A 1 million boost, and for other crews, a million. We're the only crew right now on Brazini with 1 million or above. So you can see how staying number one is on a help a lot. And again, this 1 million is on a help a lot. So a big question I know people might be thinking in the back of their head, but well, since you guys are the Don the Bosses and you're the Don, what happens if you break these rules? These rules will apply to us. There's no difference between you guys and me besides a title. Uh, that's it. It's the only difference between you guys and myself is a title. And you guys are as important as me. 
as important as the underbosses. And I want you guys to know that. I don't want you guys to think that you're not important. Because the reason you're in this crew is because you're different from everybody else. That's something you guys really got to know. And uh, all of us here are really, you know, happy that you're here. And we want you guys to be here. But don't think because you're cool with us if you break your immune to these rules. All these rules apply to everybody. Not one person here, the rule doesn't matter. So, thank, I just want to say thank you guys for listening. Um, these rules are important. I'm going to I'm gonna send out a message uh, tomorrow or a couple more days um, for new rules. We need 10 or more rules. Um, not a shit ton of rules. So I know a lot of you guys might send like 500 rules. Uh, so don't send a lot, um, you know, just stay cool guys, and I'm sorry I failed that mission, but it was going to take way too long to finish, and the rules are done, so you guys have all the rules, uh, stay cool, I'll see you guys later, I'm sorry I said um a lot, but, uh, you know, I'm not really used to doing this stuff, so, you know, I'll see you guys later.